Hey guys, this is Kenny Markroft. I just got back from a three day, two night backcountry trip in the mountains, winter camping and split boarding. And I wanna go over the things that I brought with me on the trip. Uh, so we'll start with the things that I'm wearing. So I have my neck hood. I always wear this pretty much the whole trip. I have my hat basically for sleeping in. Um, I have my long sleeve um, polyester shirt and I have a t-shirt underneath that. I have my shorts that I always wear with this nice little side pocket. Um, I have these um, leggings and let's go into protective equipment for clothing. I have this uh, packable down puffy that I wear as an insulator so that's usually packed in my in my bag. I'm wearing these snow pants. Um, I have my phone in this pocket and I, um, in this other pocket I have a bandana. I usually have fingerless gloves in that pocket as well and I have my knife. As my outer shell I was wearing this light windbreaker and it was a big debate whether to bring the Gore-Tex jacket or just the windbreaker. I decided to use the combination of my puffy jacket, the windbreaker, and this poncho that I also brought as um, water protection if needed. So I also have my Burton gloves here. I bring an extra set of gloves, these little gloves that I pack in my bag. On my feet, I have these uh, smart wool socks, my boots. In my pack, I have an extra pair of socks and a pair of wool socks for when I'm sleeping. Here's my split board gear. So I have my skins, my split board, and my poles. When you're making your list to go, it's always good to do things in um, groups of three because it helps you remember. Um, so in this case, skins, split board, poles. Beacon, probe, shovel. So those are three more things that I always make sure I got. Beacon, probe, shovel. And I'm always wearing my beacon at all times in the backcountry. Just in case anything was to happen, especially if I'm by myself. People can at least get a signal. Uh, helmet, goggles, sunglasses. And I brought my ice axe. It's a great tool for digging, um, self-arrest obviously if you need it, and on this in this case I used it to secure down my tent and it did a great job of that so I'm glad I brought it. So now going on to the pack. So this is my pack. Um, it's made for backcountry travel. It has ice axe holders, pole holders, uh, it has a lot of straps and and things to hold equipment so i have in the lower section i have my three degree down sleeping bag which i pack in first that way i can pack other things on top um here's my tent strapped onto the bottom there in this right side hip pocket i have a compass always good to have in this uh, left hip pocket i have a slope angle measure and I know it looks like toothpaste, but it is sunscreen that I loaded in there after washing it out. In this side pocket, I have my pair of binoculars. In this other side pocket, I have a empty bottle, which will uh, be good use as a mini bathroom, if you will. In this uh, zipper pocket, I have hand warmers and plenty of bags. I always bring extra bags, trash bags, all these old shopping bags you can use as trash bags or whatever you need it for. And I also have a toolkit in that pocket as well. So I have these bags that I keep it in, but I just have a little extra tools in case I need to fix something with my, my gear. And then in the main pocket, I keep a medical kit, my jet boil equipment, 
a sleeping pad and pump sack, my bivy sack, and I brought a pair of crampons on this trip just in case I needed them, but I didn't. And then we have this um, upper pouch here, which I just dumped everything out of, and I had a battery, large battery, that can do multiple charges, at charging cords, extra batteries for my headlamp or my beacon if needed, a uh, roll of tape. I have this, this serves as two purposes. It's a hand warmer and battery, so I can use it to charge my phone or I can use it to warm up my hands or warm up anything I need. Always bring a headlamp. I have my toothpaste, uh, eating utensil and toothbrush. And I have extra straps here if I needed to strap anything on my pack. And one thing I don't have here because I ate it all is the food that I brought. So I had two backpacking meals. And I also just stopped by the supermarket and grabbed a whole cooked rotisserie chicken before I left. So I was munching on that and adding that into the backpacking meals also. So that's all the gear that I brought for a three-day, two-night winter camping, and backcountry splitboarding trip. Hope you enjoyed.